Okay, so this one is about finding position vectors, relative position vectors from the origin and from one point to another, and the magnitude. So if you look at the question here, we're trying to find the position vector of O to A. The position, this is X and this is Y of course. The position vector OB and the vector from A to B and the magnitude of each. So let's start with O to A. You can see that X is 2, so 2 lots of I plus 5 lots of J. Now to find the magnitude, we use these bars to represent the magnitude or the size of that vector, how long it is, essentially how long it is, we use Pythagoras. So that's 2 squared plus 5 squared. So the square root thereof, that's 4 plus 25, which is the square root of 29. And I'll leave it like that rather than, um, I can't make that any simpler. Same again now for OB. OB, it goes from the origin to B is 7i plus 3j. And the magnitude from O to B is 7 squared plus 3 squared, so 49 plus 9. Um, gives me 58, the square root of 58. And I won't worry too much about that. Now we want the vector from A to B. So from A to B, I'm just going to have to go onto the new page. We've got OA we said was 2i plus 5j, ob is 7i plus 3j. Now, think about this. Here's oa. Here's OB. We want that one there from A to B. So you'd notice that I can add that OA plus AB is going to give me, if I look at that triangle, the vector from OA plus the vector from AB, when I add them together, is going to give me the vector OB. I want AB by itself, so that's going to be the OB minus OA, which essentially is same as what we've done before, final minus initial. So where the vector finishes, take away where the vector starts. Let's do that using our I and J. We want 7i plus 3j, and we're subtracting 2i plus 5j. Now when we subtract the i minus the i, 7 minus 2 times i, and then the j minus the j, 3 minus 5j. And that gives me 5i minus 2j. So there's my vector from A to B. Let's find the magnitude of that is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 2 squared. Notice it's plus 2 squared. The negative doesn't matter because when you square it, it becomes positive anyway. That becomes 25 plus 4 square root of 29. So the length of that vector, or its magnitude, is the square root of 29 units. And that's where we're going to finish with this particular video.